Good morning, everybody. It is lunchtime at Bella's Bella's Den, and she's in here today helping me make her lunch. And I thought I'd just show you guys what <clears throat> what she has for lunch. Um, as I've learned, Yorkies like warm food, so I actually take goat's milk, and which was recommendation by somebody who helped me when I was rescuing her. And just an FYI, she's generally not here in the kitchen like this, but you know. Mom and mom and daughter cooking together. So I will take a table. Oh, drop the spoon, Bella. Drop the spoon. Hold the dog. All right. Usually take a tablespoon of this and put it in here. And then I also have because I wasn't sure if she was constipated when I first got her. So um, we actually have. I have pumpkin, and what I've done with the pumpkin is add water to it because what I did because she's so tiny. And look at this. Look at it. Yeah, look teeny tiny dog so she cannot go through a full can of pumpkin right but I make her food very liquidy and so what I did and we're just about out of pumpkin so this is a great opportunity so what I did is I actually took a can of organic pumpkin and I think I have it here and froze it into ice cubes here hold on hen froze it into ice cubes right so that I can just pull one out pop it in the jar and let it melt. Now I usually don't use jars that are that big. I actually have become a little bit addicted to um, to actually baby bottles, right? When I first got her, people had recommended, oh yeah, give her milk. And somebody had said, oh yeah, you can give her like, you know, artificial baby's milk, but she hated it. So we didn't stick with that. And then this is boiled chicken. And this is what I use for like, um, really tasty treats and what it's in the liquid that you see is actually chicken water so I give I put that in there and that's a lot of chicken she does not eat that much chicken just an FYI and then what we do come on Bella you with me what we do stick it in the microwave for 10 seconds all right Bella and I are back from the microwave so you may be wondering why I put it in glass well the stuff that we're making for her is actually high in fat and um, plastics, you know, I don't want her dealing with issues of plastic. So this is just ground up um, dog food. And actually it is this dog food, which I had originally got day one, you know, walking through a pet store going, what dog food do I get? And this is what was recommended. Um, and th But then I bought her this one because it looks, it's a shiny blue bag and just looks like it's good. But this this mix is actually out of this and we're in the middle of transitioning and so all I do is I, t I take a tablespoon of this as well and put it in here watch out actually not quite a tablespoon because it's going to turn to mush right off the bat it's very liquidy as you can see um, it's very very liquidy uh, but what will happen is the the mush, the stuff that I ground up, and I ground it up because it didn't seem to mush very well, right? So I leave that like that, and then I also add, come on, you're with me, Bella. I also add a couple of bites of her dog food, which I already have here. So I'm in the process of mixing them. It's a really, really low blend, but I'll show you some of this dog food. So the size of the bits are super tiny out of both of them, and I've got like a 10% mix. Look at her, she's really hungry. Yes, you're hungry. All right, so that is it. And I put it like that, so if she's ready to start eating chunks, then she can eat chunks. But at this point, we really want her on more of a liquid, um, a liquidy diet, because she's only about six weeks old, and this is gonna be mush when it finally sort of hardens, but we have the hard, the harder pieces which will loosen up. I'm actually going to take some of this off of here, some of this pumpkin. The pumpkin ha helps with, um, the pumpkin was recommended as something to help with, uh, with, um, yeah, I forget right this second, constipation. But, and when I first got her, and even still, she seems to be, just have a difficult time doing the number two. So we'll pause it there, and then we'll see how much she likes this. Bella! Bella, sit. Over here. Sit. Good girl. Okay, sit. Good girl. There you go. So there's Bella's food. 
made by Mama and Bella, and she loves it. She laps up all the milk, even when I used to use um, this when it was actually pre-mixed, right? And she likes it best this way. And she goes for the milk first. She loves the milk, even when there's like a lot bigger pieces, which doesn't seem to work for her. Uh, and she's a slow eater, which I really like. And I will leave this out for a couple of hours for her. She will come back to it every couple of minutes, but the gate's open right now. So she's really more interested in investigating. Bella, here. Come on, come on. See, I already got food on my face. I already got food on my face. So I just thought I'd show you guys that since she is so young. She's about six weeks old, and I haven't seen a lot of videos for um, a six-week-old pup, especially a Yorkie who can have really finicky eating habits and have no bladder control, absolutely no bladder control. So she spends her time, hi, back in the kitchen. See, I'm back in the kitchen. Come on. Come on, Miss Bella. Come on, Miss Bella. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's close up our, our den. Let's close up the den. Come on, Bella, in the den. Bella, in the den, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's us just making making something to eat. And it's really liquidy. And um, I'm actually going to pause this. And um, I'll show you what it turns into in like 20 minutes. I'll check the time. Because this is actually going to congeal up and be a little bit harder. And uh, about two hours in, I take it away. It's not a lot of stuff, but I take it away because I want to make sure she has the freshest food. So, on that, enjoy. Hope this somebody finds this helpful. Please leave a comment. <laughs>